We are blessed that we can worship together both parishioners and guests. Salvation through Christ broken and shared was always God's plan. God sent his only son who would save our souls, not through silver or gold, but his own precious blood. The disciples did not always understand this as much as Jesus has proclaimed it. The risen Christ broke bread and shared it with them, and they began to truly see and comprehend. Our presider this afternoon is Father Greg. Please take a silence to um, silence all your electronic devices. And let us please stand and greet our celebrant and sing praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon let us begin our mass the father the son the holy spirit amen peace be with all of you thank you today we begin our third sunday our third week of easter with that in mind let us let us once again bow our heads let us ask our lord now for his forgiveness of our sins And so we pray together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. 
Forgive us our sins. May our Lord now bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And during the season of Easter, during the Gloria, I will have the honor of sprinkling us with the holy water. Let us bow our heads in prayer, please. God, our Father, may your people exalt forever in renewed youthfulness of, light, of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory, we may look forward in con confident hope to the rejoicing on that day of resurrection. For we ask and make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed of all you are saying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are Israelites, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God. You killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the, those of the death because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me with him at my right hand. I should not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your Holy One to seek corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will, you will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the parachute David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne. He foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the nether world, nor did his flesh seek corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God. He received the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father and poured him forth as you see and hear. 
the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter, let the, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father him who judges impartially according to each one's works, conduct yourself with reverence during the time of your soul journey, realizing that you were ransomed from your fertile conduct, handled on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a spotless, unblemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of our Lord's disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. Our Lord asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who does not know of these things that have taken place in the last days? And our Lord replied to them, What sort of things? And they said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since all this took place. Some women from our group, however, they had astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of us went to the tomb and they found things just as the woman had described. But him they did not see. And our Lord said to them, Oh, how foolish you are. How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses... And all the prophets, our Lord interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, our Lord gave the impression he was going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So our Lord went in and stayed with them. And it happened that while they were with them at table, our Lord took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to on the way and open the scriptures to us. So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found other people gathered and they were with them and they were saying, the Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had happened and take, taken place on their way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of our Lord. On the third Sunday of Easter, I get to say what I, 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 I make a lot of funny time. Huh? And I say, you know, we're, you know I, I am on a mission from God, huh? And in a way, it, it's very apropos, very true in today's gospel. 
I won't reread or retell the whole story, but the crux of the story is that we have two men, we believe they were disciples of Jesus, and they were walking back because nothing, they, they thought Jesus was the one. They thought he was the Messiah. Unfortunately, in their minds, unfortunately, I, I guess we put our money on the wrong, the wrong horse, huh? But our Lord joins them. As the, the two of them are walking, and we hear they're, they're di discussing and they're, they're debating, they're talking about what, what has happened the last two or three days, beginning probably with Holy Thursday, Good Friday, the burial, and today we believe it is Easter Sunday, Maybe at night, we're not sure. But the reason that we're here, my friends, every one of us, regardless if you're in the first pew, back pew, man, woman, it doesn't matter. What happens at the very end is the crux of our religion. What I mean is they, they invited Jesus to come in because there was getting dark out, evening. And they said, you know, stay and have dinner with us. And maybe we'll, we'll talk some more about what happened. Okay. Our Lord pretended that he was going on further. And so our Lord probably said, yeah, that, that's a good idea. Maybe I, maybe I will stay with you. Eventually they eat dinner. Our Lord takes the bread. He says what I always say at the Eucharistic prayer, right? He says, take this, you too. But our Lord is talking to each one of you and me. Our Lord is saying, take this, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which shall be given up for you. That is why we're here today, my friends. We are here to celebrate our faith. Our belief in God, huh? I mean, I don't want anyone to get out in the center I don't do a polka. No. But I want you to feel good in your heart. Because Jesus has picked you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Got a good cough. He has picked you and I to be his spokesperson. To be our Lord's role model. And that is such a wonderful thing, isn't it, huh? Please nod your heads. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Our Lord knows every one of you by name. And he is saying, Father Gray, he is saying, Jennifer, Thomas, whatever your name might be, I want you to follow in my footsteps. I want you to lead my people to paradise. And so today, today we're challenged, aren't we? We are challenged to walk as the two disciples walked. 2,000 years later, we are also walking that walk. We are talking that talk. That Jesus is truly alive in all of your heart. And with that, I smile, huh? I am so happy that we have a great turnout of people tonight. We want Christ to be near us. We want Jesus to be all around us. And he, he is. We truly believe, I said this last week, that when I lift up the host, or I take the, the wine, the, 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 the chalice of wine, I lift it up and I say, this is God's blood. This is God's body. We truly believe, even though we can't see it, we believe that thousands of angels come around me. They come around me to assist me in proclaiming the love of Christ. Huh? There is nothing better. You can, you can go anywhere you want. There is nothing better tonight at this moment to be at St. Alphonsus St. Clement I will, I'll be doing, of course, the prayer in a moment. Let us continue to bow our heads and to ask our Lord 
for his love and his spirituality. Amen. Thank you. Let us now please stand. As we've been doing during the season of, Ad, uh, season of Easter, I, I'm going to ask you to renew your baptismal promises, please. If you want to follow along in any book, it's you know, page 255, but just put your book down. I ask your response, I do, to everything I'm going to ask you, okay? Please respond, I do. My dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with our Lord in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is ended, let us now renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and all his works and we promised to serve God in his holy Catholic Church. And so I ask all of you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? And do you all believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? And do we all believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he rose again from the dead and now sits at God's right hand. Amen. And finally, do we all believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? Amen. Thank you. Let us bow our heads in prayer, please. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, who has given us new birth by water and the Spirit, and now bestowed on us forgiveness of sins. May he now keep us safe by his grace. We pray this in Christ our Lord for all eternity. Amen. Remain standing for our prayer of the faithful, please. That the church may continue to be the standard bearer for love and compassion for all the people in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer or grieve may find meaning through God's mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all received into the church this Easter may continue to be led by the Lord on the path of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially Father Terry Kerner and Father Aaron DePeister and all those listed in the parish bulletin, may the Lord, the Lord pour his grace upon them and bring them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in Christ may rejoice forever with him in his glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who remembered and promised to pray for at this Mass, Tom Suntucky, Leo and Bernard Rudy, Margaret Sherry, Johnny and Rosa Maroney, for the intention of those named on Easter flower offering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us bow our heads in prayer, please. Almighty God, we are so lucky, so blessed to have you as our God. You now send your only son, Jesus, to be our Savior, that in his death we do die. However, in his rising, we now rise to life everlasting. We make all our prayers today, all our prayers in the future, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Our hymn during the preparation of the gifts can be found only in the Missalette, number 309, 309, okay, in the breaking of bread. <laughs> saw him in the telling of our hopes 
Let us stand and pray, please. O oh Lord, we pray, receive these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring tonight may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, we now lodge you yet, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with, with the old order destroyed, a new universe is now cast down and made renewed and integrity of life is now restored to us in Christ. Therefore, over, overcome with Pasco joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly host with all the angelic powers, they now sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we now acclaim together. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, our gifts today, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, our Lord took the bread he blessed and broke it. He then gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be offered up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, our Lord took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the, the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess his resurrection until he comes again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate tonight, the memorial of our Lord's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking tonight of the body and blood of Christ, we may be 
gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her now to the fullness of charity. We pray once again for our Pope Francis, our Archbishop Allen, all the other bishops, clergy, all the religious. Remember all of our other departed brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. And have mercy on all of us tonight, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with St. Joseph, with all the other apostles, martyrs, and saints, that we may merit to be co-heirs to everlasting life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <coughs> it will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we await now the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church and grant us now the, the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The, the peace of our Lord be with all of you. Thank you. Let us offer that Easter peace to the people around you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, Lamb of God, here take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
hymn during communion can be found in both books, first in the Missal at number 302 and number 815 in the Gather Book, The Gift of Finest Wheat. The announcements. Join us as we pray the Rosary Monday in Father Lily Hall at 6.15 p.m. We will not have morning Masses on Thursday, April 27th at 8.30 a.m. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you and God bless. Let us stand and pray, please. O oh Lord, look with kindness upon your people and grant, we pray tonight, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may now attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We ask and make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us tonight, the Father, 
the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go now in peace. Thanks be to God. And let us say first our prayer to St. Michael, please. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust in the hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And let us now do our prayer for vocation. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord of the harvest, call forth vocations to the priesthood from our archdiocese and families. Jesus, eternal high priest, Give us men willing to sacrifice and serve. Make their hearts after your own sacred heart. Holy Spirit, everlasting love between the Father and Son. Strengthen, inspire, and let men set men on fire with divine charity. Grant them the courage to say yes to their vocation. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Mother of Priests, comfort and protect your sons as they discern their call. With St. Joseph, may they know your love and companionship as they now deepen their relationship with Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. St. Anne, pray for us. St. John Vianney, patron saint of priests, pray for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 